Welcome to another edition of the D&D Morning Show. But I'm fine. Ah. We switched roles. That wasn't even planned. <laughs> so, uh, do you want an intro? Sure. Do you want me to tell them what we're talking about today? Let's do it. Is that what you mean by intro? <laughs> That's what I mean. Because to me, the intro is welcome to the D&D Morning Show. I did mean <laughs> the, the full intro. The agenda for oh. today. What's our agenda for today? Today, we're talking about cravings and how to reduce your cravings. We're going to talk about a fun fact, which includes one of Drew's cravings. <laughs> and we'll give you a, a recipe, a raw chocolate recipe, so that you can have healthy snacks on hand. And we'll end with a quote. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> you don't sound so excited. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's get started with your chip. I was going to say addiction. <laughs> chip addiction? Chip craving? I don't know what you call it. It's true. I confess. Tell us about it. I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I love chips. That's My all there is to it. My name's Drew. <laughs> and I love chips. <laughs> I love chips. It's true. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's the, it's the flavors and the crunch. The crunch. I really like the crunch. But I feel like I, I need to, like if there's a football game on... I need to have some chips, or uh, watching a movie Friday night, Saturday night. I need to have some chips, and I think we do a good job of uh, finding alternatives. Yeah. But I love chips. That's my dirty little secret. It does drive me crazy sometimes because I'm like, "Would you get those chips out of here, <laughs> or eat those when I'm not around?" Because I don't really want to eat them <laughs> as much. Like occasionally, I'll have some chips, but not as often as Drew. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I love chips. So when we, when we go and find chips, like I look for cleaner ingredients, mm-hmm. and then I look for there's a, there's some Canadian brands I like to we like to support local, so that those are our two different options that we find. I remember when I chopped up lettuce or cabbage, and I chomped on those. I was like, I can substitute this for chips. For chips. <laughs> so I think it's the crunch, really, and I also think it's the habit of. Like in a mindset yeah. of like, it's Friday night, I need to have a treat. Yeah. And I think many people go through that, which we're going to talk about here in Cravings. But yeah. I think that has a lot to do with it. Like it's it's the emotion around when I might get excited and there's a game on and I'm like, have a bowl of chips. Because for years, I didn't really think of it health-wise. Mm-hmm. That was just something that was normal. That you did. So it's more of a comforting thing than emotional attachment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But again, look for look for different ingredients when you're finding those chips. I think we do a good job of that. It's still processed. I mean, it's hard to avoid or find like a, a super clean chip. Mm-hmm. Like it's still processed. You can get them baked. You can get some with few ingredients. But I mean, uh, that's I suppose that's not, that's not the topic of the show. I want yeah. to share my little secret with secret. you guys. Secret. But the plainer the chip, the better, right? For example, some of them just have like the potatoes. And we found one with a nice avocado oil and then some sea salt. And, oh, yeah. and, and that was it. Yeah. So that's really like a really good option. And those chips are delicious. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. Because even some of the brands that are recognized to be a little bit cleaner, they still have a ton of ingredients with all the flavoring. So try to get a plain chip. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the fun fact. Next time you have a bag of chips, think of me. <laughs> Eating chips with Drew. Oh, you know what? Someone get brought me brought me a little gift the other day, and it was like spuds or something. Oh yes. Spuds, and it was really clean. It was local, and it was clean, and it was no no trans fats and very few ingredients. So yeah, I was trying to think of a brand name for you guys, but anyways, if you're around locally and you can find those chips, you I've seen them at farmers markets. Yeah. Um, anyways, hopefully mm-hmm. that helps. If you have a little chip addiction. <laughs> All right, let's get into our main topic, which is reducing cravings. But first, I think it's important to talk about where cravings come from and, and why, why they arise or why we have them. And one of the reasons why that we have them could be from a lack of nutrient in, in our body. So if a lot of times cravings come up in the evenings or in the afternoons, right? So our body is trying to tell us at times that we're missing something. And usually it's one of our main um, nutrient sources, like one of our macronutrients. So it could be like that we didn't have uh, enough healthy fats in a day, for example, or maybe we didn't have 
fiber, enough fiber. Maybe our body needs some more carbohydrates, healthy carbs. So it's our body's way of telling us that we are missing something and it needs something in addition to what we've already had. Yeah, and I think it's much like hydration in mm -hmm. water, for example. Yeah. And it's the day before or right. days before. Mm -hmm. So when we have a craving, it's not like we need something now. It's like your body has been lacking nutrients that it needs and your body's just telling you about it now. Right. So when you're thirsty, if I'm thirsty today, right now, if I'm thirsty, it was because I was dehydrated yesterday, yesterday. or didn't drink enough water yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right. So when it comes to, I also think that, I think that's a very good point, Dorothy, when you said we lack nutrients, and I think that's a main, it's a, it's a, it's a problem, it's a, it's a main issue. I think most issues come up because we don't drink enough, or sorry, that <laughs> we don't eat enough food. Right. Not that we eat too much food mm -hmm. most of the time. So when those cravings come up, we're lacking those nutrients. And I also think we have an emotional connection to unhealthy snack food. Right. Like sugar, processed food, crunchy things. Crunchy things like Jewish <laughs> chips. Like chips. <laughs> <laughs> so if when we have that emotional, like for example, we talked about dessert. Like that's emotional connection. We don't need dessert in no. the evening. It's just a habit. Right. We, we grow up with it. We're used to having it. And some, many times we go to family or friends and everyone has dessert because it's, it's normal. Yes. But it doesn't have, you don't have to have a dessert in the evening or you don't have to have an appetizer or you can have your dessert at the beginning of the meal. Right. Sometimes we've done that. So you don't, you don't have to, it's just a, an emotional connection to it. It's a movie. It's Friday night. It's game night. Here's a bowl of chips or a bowl of popcorn or whatever. And lots of times too, it's, it's boredom, right? What, where these cravings were, we're sitting inside on, you know, at nighttime and, and we just feel like we have nothing to do. What can we do? So we go to the pantry, right? Yeah. So let's get into what can we do to reduce cravings? So one of the things we can do, one, one of the most important things that we could do is food journal because uh, then you can look back on your last few days. So for example, if you're having some, some uh, cravings at a specific time in the afternoon or in the evening and it's being more consistent, like every day, same time, these cravings are popping up, you have a journal or a record of all of the things you've eaten over the past, you know, week or whatever, or how long your journal is. So you can go back and take a look at that Did and, and kind of evaluate, did I get enough nutrients, right? I know I used to do that. Well, we do, we do food journal, but then I remember one time I was having lots of sugar cravings. So I go back in my journal and you, I'm like, ah, it, I haven't been eating enough healthy fats. So then you can introduce more healthy fats as, as you move forward in an attempt to reduce those cravings. Yeah. Success journal is so important. And uh, if you haven't tried to write in one or haven't tried to use one, just give it a shot Right. because you can track everything. You can track your mood, your emotions, mm -hmm. these sugar cravings, you can track so much like allergies for example right. sleep so when you say I, I, I haven't slept for the last week well look at what you have sometimes we have the same meal in the evening or right. the, the same like unhealthy foods and then we're like oh well there it is right there it's written down right in front yeah. of us so if you have chips every night <laughs> <laughs> and you're not sleeping <laughs> it could be what you what related to what you what you have don't eat eating. chips every evening no he doesn't i'm just fucking him. i said don't no, oh, I, I thought you said I don't eat chips every night. <laughs> yeah, so what else, Drew? We talked about um, lack of nutrients. We talked about habits and emotions as well. So I guess... Um, what we can, well, what you guys said, what, what can we do besides a food journal is eat food. Yes. <laughs> and I think well, one of the things that we often talk about is eating small meals throughout the day. That's going to help you get all the macronutrients mm -hmm. and just overall nutrients you need throughout mm -hmm. the day. So if you're having your breakfast, I suppose we should start out with three meals a day. Right. If you're not having three meals a day, that's where we need to start. So if you're not, a lot of people don't have breakfast. So if you're not having breakfast, start out with breakfast. But by slow, by slowly transitioning into eating throughout the day, small meals, then we can fight those cravings, mm -hmm. especially in the evening. Like we often talk about how you should snack in the evening, find something clean, healthy, that's easy to digest. And then you're not going to, so when you have food in your belly, you're not, you're not like, oh, I need to go to the pantry. And we never, we know there's nothing healthy yes. in the pantry. <laughs> so maybe you go to the fruit bowl instead of the pantry. Right. Yeah. Um, a couple other things that I, I've been thinking of while we were sitting here too, that's been, that is successful is, um, replacing that habit. Like maybe we have the habit of snacking in the evening. 
um, replacing that habit with something else. So instead of like grabbing for an unhealthy snack, have a cup of tea, for example. Because lots of times, it, it, like Drew said, it's not because we're, we're hungry. We are actually full, but we're looking for something to do, right? So replace it with something healthy like a cup of tea, a nice cup of herbal tea, for example. Or, you know, um, do something active in the evening. And it doesn't have to be go to the gym for a full workout. It can be take the dog for a walk or it can, go, it can be, you know, you know, meet up with a friend, go for a walk around the neighborhood, those little things can um, help reduce cravings because you're not sitting around. Yeah, you can read a book. Read I know a book. We don't do that very often. <laughs> you can go to a yoga class. You can journal. You can write in your food journal. Mm -hmm. You can plan your next day. I mean, there's a lot of different things we can do, but I think we're most of us sit in front of a screen in the evenings yes. watching TV or movies or on our phone, and then we're bored. So we're like just flipping through our news feed instead of doing something that might be more stimulating to our mind. And another thing about screen time is that there is always um, food on, on the screens, right? Like advertisements on TV, for example, for fast food or, They're there for a reason. Or, 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 you know, like things like that. So it's making us think about these things. It's putting these thoughts in our head that we need food, right? Mm -hmm. Or even provoking some of those cravings. Right. So get away from the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so those are some tips that you can fight that, to help fight cravings. You can also look for healthier options like popcorn. We have a nice popcorn recipe. We have a, two or three actually. Yes. Popcorn's a good one. We just did a uh, raw chocolate event. We have yes. a recipe on at trueformlife.com. Mm -hmm. So there's other options that you can you, that you can use in, in replacement of less than healthy. So th there's a lot of different options. I think we just need to be proactive and take action. Yeah, and but I just want to comment on the popcorn air popped popcorn right oh, yeah. and not the not the microwave popcorn and um yeah like you said there's tons of things like i've been enjoying apple chips lately for example and it's just dehydrated apples that's it mm -hmm. and that's a nice evening snack it gives you that crunch <laughs> so there's lots of things that you can do to replace that unhealthy habit all right let's move on to a recipe all right. It's funny you mentioned raw chocolate because that's the recipe where we are talking about so today. Wait. Raw chocolate is just delicious and it's very easy to make. You need two main ingredients, cacao butter and cacao powder. And then once you have that base, you can basically do whatever kind of chocolate you want. So you melt the cacao butter really, really low. I suggest using it in a crock pot melt it and then add a sweetener a maple syrup or honey a, a healthy sweetener and then you uh stir in really quickly the cacao powder and it's going to make this creamy like yummy chocolate liquidy chocolate and then all you have to do is throw it on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper or wax paper and then dress it up so we recently, um, well, we've done our raw chocolate event, which we had all kinds of different uh, kinds, I guess, right, uh, of chocolate. So we did almond and coconut, pistachio, go goji berry. What else, Drew, did we do? Is it peanut butter? Peanut butter, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of different options you can use. Just get creative and, and have some fun with it because yeah. it just really depends. My favorite is orange zest. So there's orange chocolates. Ooh, my... They're delicious, so you can find different ways to flavor your chocolate. I think once you get that base, you can just get creative and throw whatever you want on there. Yeah, and the good thing about the raw chocolate is you store it in the freezer, and then so you, a craving comes about, for example, you can go grab a little piece out of the freezer, and, and it's healthy, it's nutritious. You can feel good about the choice you made, and you only need a little bit because it's very, very rich. rich. Yeah, is that the right word? <laughs> I wish. Yeah, so that's uh, that's a good alternative for cravings. Give that a shot. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a quote to end off with? Yeah, I think you should read the quote today. I should read the quote? Yes. Oh, man, throwing me under the bus here. Where, where is it? Oh, here right it is. Right here. Dear stomach, you're bored, not hungry. <laughs> I thought that was a nice one that you could like even like put up on your cupboard, for example, right? Because like we were talking about earlier in the show, a lot of times we're just looking for something to do, right? And, and we're just, we, and that's where the cravings strike is because <laughs> we need to do something. Yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Tell your stomach you're not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, when you go to like watermelon 
and that was something I wanted to mention. Earlier, oh, yeah. But if you get like a watermelon piece, like I think we just get it. There's like a commercial or you want to break from the TV. You get up and you go look in the fridge. Or you go and look in the pantry just because you're just bored. Right. You have something to do. Yeah. So if you have something healthy like raw chocolate, for example, or watermelon or whatever, we went through a bunch of different ones. But I think that would really make a difference in your fighting cravings. and. Mm -hmm. Just having healthy options available, have a bowl of um, berries set out or, or sliced up veggies set out on the counter. And hummus. And hummus. Mm -hmm. So that it's, it's, that's what's in front of you, right? And yeah. that's what you'll go gravitate to. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the D&D &D Morning Show. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next episode. See you guys. Bye.